Hey everyone, uh, I'm installing the Magpul grip uh, on my Palmetto AR-10. Okay, so that's the PA-10 Gen 3. Uh, a couple of interesting things that are worth noting. Okay, um, the one that comes with it, the rubberized grip, if you look over here, it has a really, you know, it basically it's fitted to the gun. Okay, when you put in the... Uh, the Magpul one, you're going to notice that there's a, there's a gap here, okay? So be aware of it. Uh, if you don't want that gap here, like know in advance, like, you know, don't get the Magpul one. Um, if you want a tight, uh, if you want it to fit perfectly, stick to the one that came with it, okay? Other thing worth noting is, uh, you know, normally there's there's just one spring that, um, basically you got your your safety spring that goes up up in here the normally the um, the pin for the um, uh, the locking pin goes to the back and the the end plate is what keeps it in place okay so with the pa10 I guess because this section here is a lot longer right this is an elongated section uh, the pin that holds your the uh, the retaining pin, for the, not the retaining pin, the um, uh, the takedown pin, the rear takedown pin, uh, the, the pin that holds that in place uh, is in a second hole in the back, right? So you've got two springs. They're going to give you two springs. The short one goes to the to the safety. Try to get this lined up here. The short one goes to the safety, and what appears to be the longer, thinner one goes in the back hole. Okay, that goes up to the rear takedown pin okay so i wanted to post that here in case you guys get like confused and stuff so uh i'm like uh, i guess i'll put the magpul one on i kind of hate that it's a different size because it does have that gap however it does fit more comfortably in my hand uh i'll put it in if i don't like it down if i if, I, if it turns out that i can't live with that gap i'll just take it out but I wanted to make you aware of this, so when you're purchasing it, and be aware that there's two springs in here, okay, the spring to the to the safety over here, there's another hole to the to the uh, um, to the front. Oh, the other thing worth mentioning, um, if you look at the, the the rubberized grip that came with it, right, you got one hole up here for the first pin, right, and then it looks like they drilled the second hole back here. Um, the first one looks like it's factory drilled in the plastic. The second one looks like it was drilled into the rubber back here, okay, into the rubber. So that so it's supposed to insert into that, but I don't think it inserts very well because uh, it, it kind you can kind of see it like a little bent out of shape. Um, with the Magpul one, you're gonna only have the one hole, okay. So I'm gonna have to like drill a hole back here, okay. I'm gonna have to you basically you know. Put a small drill bit there. I have to kind of match this up. Okay, see where that ends, where that lands, and drill the second hole. So, um, and here's the thing. I mean, if you drill the second hole, I mean, down the road, if you end up using this on another AR, no big deal. That hole's not going to bother you. You know, you know. But just be aware that you got to drill a hole in the Magpul uh, grip back here if you decide to go with that, so that it will lock in this um, the takedown pin. Okay, uh, and also be, be aware that like there's like indents in there that you know you don't lose them. Uh, I'm also going to change out the trigger. I'm going to take out the one that uh, that came with it, the nickel boron, and I'm putting the two stage uh, palmetto nickel boron in this one. Okay, so that's today's project. Hey everyone, I want to give you guys an update. Uh, I elected not to go with the Magpul grip. Uh, I'm going to stay with this rubberized uh, A2 grip. Now, one of the things I did is um, I told you guys that there was like a little, kind of like a little hole that was, it looked like it had been drilled in the back, but I don't think it was. I think it was just a marking from the spring. I did try and uh, say, hey, let me just take this in just a little bit with the drill. But what happens is that spot, uh, that spot where this thing needs to go, right, uh, when you try to drill into it, it, it just it just separates. Okay, so and I didn't want to mess with this too bad. So what I did then is, which is what I think they probably did at the factory, but maybe they just, they just didn't do it as well. I used the pick to basically separate the rubber a little bit from the plastic, and basically just kind of twisted the spring 
in a little bit to kind of hold it in place, okay? Uh, and so I think that that is, basically that's how you're gonna wanna install this, okay? Put this back in there, just twist it in a little bit um, and it will go into place and then it will, it will go back. Uh, then basically I can put this back. Um, and like I said before, I'm changing out this, uh, the, the, just the, the mil spec nickel boron trigger that came with it. Uh, it's getting this two stage uh, palmetto uh, nickel boron trigger. I already did another video with this because I installed it in another gun. I was liking it um, So yeah today it's going in this uh, in this gun in this uh, palmetto p810 uh, Gen 3 Hey another quick note if you're installing the um, two stage the palmetto two stage trigger the um, yeah, actually, Let me get something to the point with um the disconnector, the tail of the disconnector is going to go underneath that little hook that you see right there, right? Where the point is. It goes underneath it, not on top of it. In order to get that in there, uh, you're going to basically, you can't get that in there once you run your pin in. So first you got to position this, then run the pin in. So basically, I just temporarily ran uh, this little Allen, Allen key that you see there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to push the pin. I'm going to push the Allen key out. Uh, and basically just 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 transfer You know do a transfer you know, as I'm gonna push the, as I push the pin in the allen key is gonna uh, Push out. Okay, so uh, if you're installing the two-stage trigger I mean, that's one of the things that was kind of confusing me a little bit um, With that little hook over there Because initially I was on top of it. I'm like no no that doesn't look right. I gotta be on underneath it Now other thing to be aware of is um, I mean you all know that there is a an indent that goes with the safety. Well, remember, there's also an indent that goes with your uh, um, with your take with your rear takedown pin. Okay, there's an indent that goes with that, and I kind of forgot about that. I took the spring out, uh, and luckily it fell out, and I saw it fall out. Otherwise, I would have been like looking all over the place for it. So there's two springs and two indents, um, and then your your takedown pin, and then your safety. So there's six pieces basically. Okay, so. I hope that helps somebody out there.